You're watching New Car Spin, and it's a windy night. This is the Genesis G80. It's a 2022. A lot of people don't like these wheels, but they do like this color. It's more of like a chalky, uh, pearl kind of white. So uh, let me get inside and show you what a 22 looks like. I've already driven a 21, but that was during the day. I want to show you what a 22 at night is like. So this vehicle is very unique and I would prefer it over a Mercedes-Benz. It also has four-wheel steering, which I can't show you because I don't have an initial camera person with me, but you will see Lexicon audio and a really nice, I don't know what you would call that, business suit looking trim. So we're gonna start this thing up. Obviously we have a 3D display, which in person I can see but I can't see on camera. You'll see these two red lights. Those are the infrared cameras that I think they're scanning my eyes to create the 3D effect on this cool instrumentation. But uh, trust me in person, you won't see red glows. So what we have here is an updated vehicle for 2022. I'm not sure about all the updates, but if we turn on the really nice LED lights here, you'll see that the steering wheel, instead of having the silver buttons, now has like these black pads. And this is sort of where all the manufacturers are going, just large kind of button looking appearance. And you'll see this one has red stitching. So if you are going to configure one, I'm not sure which one this is, it might be the sport model. Again, I don't have the window sticker, so I can't really tell you, but let's drive it and see what it's like with the four wheel steering option. So if I roll the window down, and I think I can use the mirror here. If I turn the wheel left, turn the wheel right, you see that? That's the tire moving right there in the rear. So that's pretty cool. But of course we can put it in reverse. We have a backup camera. Again, uh, I don't have the window sticker, so I'm not sure on the price, but you can configure it somewhere around 70,000. This is the V6. We'll put it into drive. It seems like that's much easier to use this year, the gear selector knob. And I really can't do much to show you four wheel steering because it, it just feels like it pivots. So it's a really cool effect. What I can do though, is find a street and do a U-turn. So we will do it, actually, we'll do it right here. So I'm already in the left side of the street, of the lane. I'm gonna crank it all the way left. And will we make it? Oh yeah, we'll make it. Boom. That's how tight this thing turns. If you're a German uh, vehicle enthusiast, you'll think, oh, that's not that much. But this is also all wheel drive. So keep that in mind. Being in a all-wheel drive vehicle, sometimes the turning radius is a lot larger than expected. Look, I can do it here too. Boom. That's nice. So I'm feeling a little bit of skipping on the tread on the front tires, which is weird because I never expected that. But overall, this thing just is so smooth. Now, uh, last week I had the Acura TLX and I completely disliked it. And everyone disliked the video too. That must be because they agree with me on disliking the car. No, just kidding. Uh, some people don't like my reviews and that's fine. Go somewhere else. I'm not here to sell cars. I'm here to tell you what I think. Manufacturers give me these cars. I drive them for a week. I post them on my YouTube channel. So this is the lowdown on what I drive for the week. So we have a great large navigation system screen and we have a home screen on here and we have a second home screen that shows pertinent data which has weather on the left time obviously and the map and we can go into different features using these buttons down here and of course I can turn on my heated steering wheel and the heated seats and all that with a haptic feedback on that display there and overall this car just rocks uh, we have auto stop start disable on the left, electronic parking brake, power trunk. It has all the features that you'd expect on a car. Uh, something the Acura didn't have actually was the heated steering wheel 
and a power trunk lid and that was 55 grand so you know people thought i was a little bitchy about it but in reality i can get a heated steering wheel and uh well a power trunk on a fifty thousand dollar car but not on the acura so this is not the small genesis this is right in the middle there's a g70 which is smaller and then the G80, which is this one. And now there will be a bigger one called the G90, which is more like an S-Class Mercedes as far as that size. Here we are, very smooth. And of course we can go into the drive mode and change that, the display changes. And the engine sound is actually piped in through the speakers. Fun fact, we actually have noise cancellation in the stereo system in this car, which is why it's so quiet. So it's a it's a very nice vehicle to be in. And I know that those red lights are, are messing around with my camera here. But let's go ahead and make a turn. You can hear what this thing will sound like in a second. Okay. Four wheel steering, wow. So this thing is no slouch. 375 horsepower, V6, and it puts that Acura to shame. <laughs> Obviously, uh, this one's a lot more expensive than Acura, but I would assume that a G70 would be less than this car as far as price tag, and you can obviously get this same V6. So let's go ahead and put it into Sport Plus mode. And what that'll do is that'll disable traction control and it'll quicken the gear changes. You notice there's no Sport mode for the transmission. Thanks for paying the toll, Genesis. Oh, man. All right, I gotta merge carefully here. Fall carefully off the cliff. Power, go. You'll see the camera there from when we change lanes. This thing is just brutal. I love it, I love it. Is Genesis my kind of car? Uh, not personally, but I still think that you should put this on your shopping list because it's just got so much substance and style. I was actually in downtown Dallas the other day and I was getting thumbs up from people all over the place and it's a really good looking car. And in here, there are no complaints. And uh, you know, from someone like me, that's really hard to, uh, to come across where I have a car where I don't really complain about anything. Other than this screen not being able to adjust like auto recirc and um, other features like the air distribution to be diffused and all that. I had to have to go through that main screen, which can get, kind of be complicated, but thankfully that is a touch screen. So you can go to all of your features here and do uh, pretty much everything from there. But I can also do it down here on this touch pad and I have wireless charging in here and I can pull that push that forward and it comes back so it's covered and not the look at devices or extra USB ports. This car is just putting Mercedes on notice. I'll tell you that right now. And I say Mercedes because this is not like a BMW competitor. This is not a flushed out sports sedan, but you'll see it has a blind spot monitor in the head up display. And if I go here to this display, it'll show blind spot monitoring there if anyone was ever behind me which they're not so there's no lack of tech in here and I'd say that this uh, self-driving system is right up there with the Mercedes it will change lanes on its own I'm not going to do it right now because it's kind of crowded but you'll see as these cars come up on me like that one over there uh, there we go and I have one on the left you see the two warnings there you see the two warnings up there well they just disappeared so yeah I highly recommend the Genesis G80 and weirdly enough, I don't recommend the SUV version, the GV80. And that's because it was way too wallowy and boaty. And this is where I get back to the whole Mercedes thing. This rides a lot like a Mercedes. It's very sprung and it's very, very smooth, but it kind of has, when people say a Mercedes feels like a truck, it kind of has that existence, but it really flattens out these Dallas roads. Granted, we're on a toll road right now, but when we're on the rough stuff, this car just shines. And it makes me wonder why I would want the GV80 SUV. I really I really wouldn't. Uh, the GV70, which is smaller and I drove as well, that was not the V6 like this one. That was a four cylinder, but it still had get up and go. So here I am in the G80 V6, 
with all wheel drive and all wheel steering and it's been updated. This is a 2022 and I highly recommend it. There you go, that's it. Short and sweet, it's not a sales pitch. I'm an automotive journalist. I was president of Texas Motor Press Association last year and this is a legit, honest, open review. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. More to come.